This is your AFN Misawa News Break. Every year, sailors celebrate the Navy's birthday by attending large gatherings in their iconic dress uniform. Naval Air Facility Misawa sailors were no different, but they had a special twist unique to the base. When we get a chance to uh, have a Navy ball that is attended by, as tonight, Army and Air Force and other services that may or may not be familiar with our Navy traditions. I mean, I really enjoyed talking for about a half an hour tonight with the, the Army about the Navy. Despite not having professionals to help plan the event, the decor and seamless execution made the ball an event to remember. Uh, as long as you have a good team with you, like the team members that I had, from my president, my vice president, all the way down to our decoration committee, to having a full line, chain, uh, full line of communication with the CO, it was actually a fairly great Navy ball, and I'm hoping that we can do more such as this, which work out greatly with everything coming from food to prizes, and even the turnout was incredible. As one of the oldest services, the Navy has many customs and courtesies afforded to special guests. One of these practices was a favorite to many of the non-Navy attendants at the ball. The Navy ball as opposed to the Army ball, uh, they place a high value on tradition. Uh, at the very beginning of the Navy ball, they, they do the ruffles and flourishes, and they welcome each of the commanders to come in uh, with the bells and the boys, uh, which is very cool. It's kind of a representative of their Navy tradition as opposed to the Army. At the beginning, when they had all the distinguished visitors coming through, like they were boarding the ship, and that was really interesting. I've never seen anything like that before. Each military branch has its own customs and traditions, but sharing them with other branches builds camaraderie and unity, especially at a joint base like Misawa. Petty Officer Dean Cates, Misawa Air Base, Japan.